Today, we're going to be going over everything we know about Pokemon Unite, which is set to release for the Nintendo Switch this month. In case you guys didn't know, Pokemon Unite is an upcoming 5v5 MOBA game set to release for the Nintendo Switch July of 2021, that's this month, and for mobile devices later in September of this year. I've been excited for Pokemon Unite since the day I heard it, probably about a year ago at this point, because I have been a Pokemon fan since day one, baby. I still have my original copies of Red, Blue, and Yellow for when I was like four years old. Seriously, I've beaten these games like a dozen times, I have like every every single Pokemon version over here on my shelf, but what can you expect from Pokemon Unite? So like I mentioned before, Pokemon Unite is going to be a standard 5v5 MOBA game that will likely be a bit more simple than other games in the category, such as League of Legends or Dota, due to the fact that it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch and on mobile, which limits the number of button presses that you can have. You don't have a mouse and a keyboard. So it might be a little bit more chill and casual, but I imagine it's still going to have a huge competitive scene because this game, guys, it's going to be mega popular despite it sort of running underneath the radar for the last couple of months and again it's coming out this month and i don't see any signs of it over on the the nintendo eShop. i don't see any signs of it on the google play store but regardless a ranked playlist has already been confirmed i'm sure there's going to be tournaments around this game as well so whether you're into pokemon or not this is going to be a huge game on the moba scene so in pokemon unite your pokemon are going to be your champions they start at level one at the beginning of every single match and over the course of that match as you capture and defeat other pokemon and other players you can evolve it as it levels up as you continue to level up you'll gain more access to the held items that you picked for your pokemon at the beginning of the match and of course you'll be able to choose which of the pokemon moves you want to level up as well pokemon come in two different fighting styles you have melee style pokemon such as snorlax and ranged style pokemon such as pikachu similar to other mobile games these pokemon also play different roles out on the battlefield so there's five different different roles that these Pokemon can fall into. They are either a all rounder, an attacker, a defender, a supporter, or a speedster. An example of an all rounder, which I imagine is the most balanced of the different roles in this game would be a Pokemon such as Charizard. We also have attackers such as Venusaur, defenders such as Slowbro. We have supporters such as Wigglytuff, and we have speedsters such as Gengar my personal favorite. While you may be inclined to pick your favorite Pokemon of the lineup, and we're going to be talking about all the Pokemon available later in the video, the game does give you a general idea of how difficult it is to use a particular Pokemon. So they either come in a novice, intermediate, or expert difficulty. An example of a novice difficulty Pokemon would be Charizard. We have an intermediate such as Alolan Ninetales, and then some Pokemon are expert difficulties such as Lucario. The standard 5v5 game map has two lanes with a jungle in the middle. You can level up your Pokemon by defeating other Pokemon in the jungle or the tall grass. The most common of these wild Pokemon are going to be Apom and Corphish, but once the timer reaches the final two minutes, the center jungle is going to spawn a legendary Pokemon that could absolutely change the tide of the game. From all the footage we've seen so far, the standard 5v5 map looks like it spawns a Zapdos at that final two minute mark, but other game modes that have 3v3 or 4v4 may spawn other legendary Pokemon. For example, Regigigas has definitely been confirmed as one of them. These legendaries will probably take your entire team to take down, but they will give you massive amounts of points and they'll also provide a huge buff for your entire team. So you might be saying, okay, I'm New York. I, I sort of get it, right? But how do you actually win the game, right? When you're playing games like League of Legends, you attack player towers and eventually you defeat the enemy Nexus and that's how you declare victory. Well, in Pokemon Unite, when you defeat the Pokemon that spawn in the tall grass or or in the jungle you capture them to gain extra points the enemy towers are actually gigantic rings that your pokemon will charge up a ball of energy and slam dunk it so long as you're not being attacked by the enemy the more pokemon that you capture without depositing the longer it's going to take for you to do those deposits so you may want to take the strategy of quickly depositing small amounts of pokemon over the course of the match or you may want to defeat a ton of pokemon and once you see an opening you can slam dunk all of them all at once for massive points but be careful because if you end up dying either from the pokemon on the map or from the enemy team you'll lose a huge chunk of the points that you've earned by defeating pokemon in the open field now each enemy tower has a certain amount of points that need to be scored on it before it gets destroyed and disappear 
others now obviously scoring points is the way that you win the game so doing so is going to push you more towards victory but it's also detrimental for you to lose a tower because the towers are actually where you can heal when you're out fighting without having to recall back to your base so once you start losing towers it gets harder and harder for you to stay alive in the open field but don't worry it is pretty difficult to take a tower because once an enemy is inside that ring you actually can't score points on it a shield will appear so there is a bit of tactics that go into baiting enemies away from the tower defeating them you know obviously all sorts of MOBA stuff that you're used to right group fights ganking all that good stuff all right so we know the basis of the game right it's your standard MOBA you get points by capturing Pokemon and slam dunking it on enemy towers each match lasts about 10 minutes so these are going to be super fast paced but what's most important is what Pokemon are actually available in Pokemon Unite so let's talk about the roster okay I'm just going to read this off we have Venusaur Charizard Pikachu Alolan Ninetales Wigglytuff Machamp Slowbro Gengar Mr Mime Snorlax Absol Garchomp Lucario Crustle Greninja Talonflame Cinderace Eldegoss Cramorant and later down the line it has been confirmed that they will be adding Blastoise as well as Gardevoir now just like every other MOBA you're not gonna have access to all the Pokemon right at the start you're gonna have to play the game a bit and you'll have to unlock the respective license in order to play as that particular Pokemon as you play the game and you gain experience and you get some victories under your belt you're going to level up your player level and for example this is how you're going to unlock Slowbro and Venusaur just by playing the game you're gonna get them for free it's gonna be important to have a decent amount of Pokemon available to you because just like other MOBAs you're not gonna be able to have two of the same Pokemon on that team so everybody who wants to pick Charizard I'm sorry there's only gonna be one Charizard per team so hopefully you get it now I imagine that there's gonna be some sort of free trial period just like they do in other MOBAs where before you actually invest in a Pokemon to unlock them you'll be able to try them out this may be on some sort of daily or weekly rotation or it may be you can temporarily unlock a Pokemon for a certain amount of time just to test them out I'm not really sure now it is worth noting that because this game is free to play you'll probably be able to unlock all the Pokemon instantly if you're willing to spend enough money on microtransactions for the gems that you can buy now while the sound of microtransactions may make the hair on your arm stick up remember just because somebody has all the Pokemon doesn't mean they're actually better than you at the game either way I'm really excited for the lineup that they have here my favorite Pokemon is Gengar so I'm happy that he is here but guys I want to hear in the comment section below what Pokemon are you most excited to see come to Pokemon Unite in the future because you know they're gonna be adding more as time goes on I would love to see Jolteon Arcanine and Scizor those would be super cool but Pokemon aren't the only important choice that you have in Pokemon Unite unlike other MOBAs that have an in match shop where you accumulate gold or some other currency and then purchase items throughout the duration of that match Unite has held items Items and active items that you can choose before the match begins held items are more like passive boosts and you can have up to three of them active items are things like potions that are consumable and have effects when used they also have a cooldown of course there's a bunch of different held items in the game such as the muscle band scope lens shell bell wise glasses energy amplifier float stone buddy barrier aos cookie special attack specs leftovers exp share you get the drill there's a ton of different held items that you can get and they can be obtained from either the shop or from level up rewards battle passes i heard are going to be in the game so there's going to be a ton of different ways that you can get these held items and they're going to be super important not only are they going to give you solid stat buffs throughout the match but the held items themselves can also be leveled up for greater effect as you play the game as i said before the battle items or the active items such as potions x attacks fluffy tails eject buttons these things can all be unlocked at different trainer levels and you could probably purchase them with some sort of in-game currency uh, for the Nintendo switch they are used with the Y button and again they do have a cooldown depending on how powerful they are so for example the potion has a 30 second cooldown which restores a small amount of your HP whereas the eject button will quickly move your Pokemon in a specific direction with a 55 second cooldown because it's just a little bit more powerful when it's used properly now while the primary game mode is a 5v5 match with a 10 minute timer there will be multiple maps that come into this game all which are designed a little bit differently so far there are four stages that are confirmed for this game the primary stage is going to be called remote island with standard battle or ranked play that's the 5v5 10 minute game mode there's also aroma park which is a quick 3v3 there's a shiver city which is a quick 4v4 those are both 5 
five minute matches and then finally there's mer stadium which is a quick 4v4 also five minute game mode now really quick i know you might be thinking omniarch what if you're playing as like a charizard and somebody else has a blastoise are you just always gonna lose to them right because water beats fire right everybody learns that but the first time they play pokemon don't worry in pokemon unite even though they have a lot of borrowed elements from pokemon such as attack special attack defense all that stuff type matchups aren't a thing like they are in the regular pokemon games so feel free to attack that blastoise with your charizard and as long as you're playing strategically and you have allies nearby it should turn out okay another question you may be thinking hey omniarch if this is a free-to-play game right and you know you can unlock the pokemon but beyond that like what else are players going to spend their money on well of course there's going to be in-game microtransactions for cosmetic only items this is actually pretty cool okay the cosmetics are called hollow wear and they're basically costumes for your pokemon as you level them up so once they hit their final evolution they can be wearing some sort of outfit or special skin that looks really cool and there's going to be some premium hollow wear that will probably only be available either in battle passes or for real money which not only have a different look to them a different outfit but they will also have special animations which I think it's just really nice right it doesn't affect gameplay at all you don't get anything special for it so it's not pay to win but you can make your favorite Pokemon look super cool for example we have beach style Venusaur we have hip-hop style Pikachu beach style Snorlax beach style Garchomp hero style Greninja and captain style Cinderace that's probably my favorite one other thing that I found really interesting is that apparently this game is going to have voice chat which is very unusual for a Nintendo game now of course this isn't actually made and developed by Nintendo they're working you know the Pokemon company is working closely with Timmy Studios to make sure that this game is up to par but yeah voice chat just sounds like it's going to be mega toxic uh, again usually Nintendo does not like voice chat in their games so it's gonna be really interesting to see how that goes because obviously Pokemon is a kid friendly franchise so if you jump on Pokemon Unite and the person on the mic is 25 and they start screaming all sorts of curse words that's not exactly what you're gonna want your kids to hear so I don't know how Nintendo's gonna feel about that but it will be super useful if you can actually get a coordinated team together so you can communicate hey let's go jungle or I need you to gank up here or whatever the case might be so I understand why they included it I just think it's a little bit odd now on the topic of Timmy Studios okay those are the developers for Pokemon Unite I think it's important we peel back the curtain a little bit and take a look at who's actually behind this game so Timmy Studios is responsible for other MOBA games such as Arena of Valor which is also a mobile MOBA and is available on the Nintendo Switch they also are responsible for Call of Duty Mobile which has seen massive success since its launch not to mention Timmy Studios parent company is Tencent so that's the majority owner of Riot Games the developers behind League of Legends which is arguably the most successful MOBA of all time so I think we've got some real powerhouse developers behind this Pokemon game which is super exciting Tencent is also the minority owner of Epic Games the developer behind Fortnite so obviously you know Tencent has their hand in a lot of different things in the gaming industry and I think they're going to make sure that Pokemon Unite is a financial success and the way they're going to do that is probably by having regular updates really fresh new things that are put into the game and of course the success Success of that is only going to be uh, you know dependent on how good Timmy Studios is which again I don't think the Nintendo company or the Pokemon company uh, would really put their precious baby franchise Pokemon in the hands of a developer that doesn't know what they're doing so like I said earlier Pokemon Unite is going to launch this month for your Nintendo switch it's going to be free to play and it's not going to require the Nintendo switch online service so you don't have to pay for that it's gonna be completely free to play and then in September this is gonna launch for mobile games also of course free to play cross play and cross progression have also already been confirmed with your Nintendo account or Pokemon trainer club account which is super exciting that means you can play it on your phone throughout the day and then when you get home you boot up your Nintendo switch and you have all the same progress I personally think that the best way to play this game is going to be on an emulator I use the emulator called blue stack so I'm actually gonna have a link in the description below this is not sponsored by them but there will be a link down there to download a similar MOBA game for your computer called blue stacks that link will of course support the channel but getting used to it now is gonna make sure that you're familiar with blue stacks when Pokemon Unite does become available 
for emulators which i do think that it will and playing with a mouse and keyboard is just going to be so much more superior than playing on a phone now if you do decide to play on your phone i will have in the description a couple of links to some of the top of the line mobile device controllers that will most likely support pokemon unite when the game does officially release in september and of course if you're playing it on your nintendo switch the best way to do so is with the switch pro controller this is my favorite controller for the nintendo switch i've used this for a ton of different games there will also be a link in the description for this as well what i'm most interested in though is are they going to develop a pc port for pokemon unite just like we've seen with other games such as fortnite and genshin impact obviously that'll perform better than any emulator ever could so that would be really cool but also huge huge advantage if you play on your computer if you made it this far into the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other pokemon fans might see it today we covered everything we know about pokemon unite and i've already begun thinking of a beginner's guide for pokemon unite as well so if you are interested in more pokemon unite content make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below again i will have a link in the description below to download a MOBA for blue stack so you can start to get familiar with it for when Pokemon Unite does officially release don't forget to comment what Pokemon you want to see most in Pokemon Unite down below and let me know are you excited about this game do you think I should post more content about it I think it's going to be a huge hit amongst all players but you let me know I'd love to hear from you as always guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace